Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's DJ Hi Kevin again. Today, I want to talk about one tool that has really, really helped me up my short form content game, and that is Opus Clips. So a little bit of background. I pretty much suck at posting on social media. I've been made fun of for my captions on The Nick Spinelli Show. I've taken weeks off at a time and just not posted any content at all and basically been dead to the world as far as social media is concerned. In 2024, it is one of my goals to really, really try and figure out how social media works. Because I find that when I understand something, I get better at it and then I enjoy it a lot more too. And to do that, of course, I decided to throw a little bit of money at it. And I think I found the perfect tool for me specifically. Opus Clips not only integrates AI in order to find clips that work with a certain message that you're trying to send, but it also has Adobe Premiere integration. It also has a text editor built into it. And all I have to do is input my information for all of my social media and I can post directly from the Opus Clips website. So it's my goal to really use this tool to help push me to create a ton more content. It is a little difficult with a lot of the normal videos that you want a DJ to be posting, but I found that a lot of my stuff actually works really well, especially for gig logs. So why don't we stop this here and let's dive into the actual tool. So let's take a quick little walkthrough of how I have used Opus Clips so far. So for me, I grab one of my videos from YouTube. Let's use the one that I posted most recently. This is me cleaning my office and talking over it. And the title of it is Stay Motivated in the Off Season. I didn't really want it to be too directed only towards DJs, but we all know that's where this channel is going. So we can then see our video pop up here. We'll scroll down a little bit. You can see some style options, which I have my preset template based on my brand template. So using my colors and SEE's colors. And then a way to sort of save credits, so to speak. You can see in the top right corner, I have just under 60 hours remaining for 386 days left. So you can, if you have longer videos, you can kind of pull only the first half of it so that it doesn't chew up a lot of your time. I did that with my Teddy interview because that one was an hour and 10 minutes and I only wanted clips from the first half. So then you can enter your preferred clip length I think I want to keep this under 30 seconds because that tends to do a little bit better. And then we can enter even keywords to direct your clips. So let's just, for the sake of it, put the word motivation. And then we go all the way back up, get clips in one click. And now we wait for a little bit. It's going to not only get our video, but then analyze it. And then it gives you a nice estimated waiting time. So it looks like we're going to be chilling for about 16 minutes. So we'll check back in in a little bit. Since we're just hanging out on this page, I wanted to show a little bit about actually how helpful Opus Clips is to making it easy for you and just them having a learning center with a bunch of tutorials. So I haven't really watched any of these yet, but on how to export to XML, how to use their artificial intelligent B-roll, which is actually a pretty cool feature. You should check out the video on the site. They also have filler word removal. So knowing that it's there and I don't have to drop it into Premiere to then edit it again is awesome. And then obviously a bunch of other FAQs, things like that. So definitely check out some of the resources on there. All right, so we've got all of our videos here. So it's giving us a ton of options. Looks like we've got seven options to pick from. I've already kind of looked through these a little bit and I definitely love how it ranks the score for how effective it thinks the clip will be. And of course, it gives a ton of information about the clip and whether or not it has a good hook and sort of what it talks about. So this 99 score is gonna be one that I'm definitely gonna take a peek at, but I'm gonna look at one with a slightly lower score and we're going to kind of check out this one. Again, I already checked it out a little bit. So you can always go back in and edit things to match exactly what you're trying to say. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna edit this one just so I can show you this too. So like I said, I've already looked at it and some really cool features that this has 
is you can change the start point. So we're going to set the start as there, and we're actually going to set the end of the entire video as the end of the clip. So that puts it at about 31 seconds, and you can kind of check out the entire timeline here. It has this real cool face tracking feature, which I love, especially when I'm using 16 by nine videos and then switching them to this nine by 16 real TikTok format. So I've changed things a lot. I'm also gonna go in and we're gonna edit the swear word and we're just gonna put in some asterisks and you can see it changed it there, but you can change the highlights. You can change the emoticons that are added and to me, it all really beefs up the message that you're trying to send. So this came out to be a really cool clip and then we can just save it for right now. It'll take a couple minutes to compile the entire thing and then we'll be able to, using this button right here, we can auto post and schedule to all of our social media. So for me, that includes YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and I've been using LinkedIn a lot too, just to post them somewhere else. So we've finished compiling, so let's finish this up. And let's post it. So we go straight to our auto post and scheduler button right here. And then I've already logged everything in. So you can change your title and add a description depending on where you're sending it to. So for YouTube, we've already got a title put in, master your time and goals for a successful future. I'm just going to keep that. And then let's see, maybe we'll just keep that the same for all of them. Might edit them up. Tips to tips to. I was going to add that to all of them. All right, cool, so we've got all that in. Now let's schedule them. So we're gonna schedule them for Tuesday and we're gonna do it at 1 p.m. Schedule post, Tuesday, 1 p.m. Boom, 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 boom. And then schedule, 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 schedule. And if anything ever changed, I can come back and I can cancel the schedule, edit it, and fix it. But for now, I think we're pretty good. So we'll click out of that. And that's posting a clip on Opus. So that's about as simple as it gets, in my opinion. It saved me a lot of the time of bouncing between the different social media in order to post this stuff. And I'm able to deliver my clear and simple message right in the website. And that really is the major key for me, is just simplicity. Sometimes it's that really boring work that keeps you from doing anything, from posting anything. And to me, this cuts out all of that ag. So check out Opus Clip. You can get a free trial and then just use it to your heart's content. Really, it's made things so much easier for me. You obviously still have to record the footage, but using this, to me, it's made it a ton simpler. So check out Opus Clips and I don't know, Maybe I'm going to try and reach out for an affiliate account or something like that. I would love to get more people using this. It's a really fun and easy tool. So thanks for checking out how to use Opus Clip as a great way to supplement your short form content. Always appreciate y'all coming back. Thanks for hanging out.